Hi, Dr. Kent Holtorf here with the Holtorf Medical Group and wanted to talk today about libido. And a uh, very um, uh, popular subject and, and people are very interested but a lot of times don't like to talk about it. And uh, we're finding now so many people have low libido, it's affecting their relationship, really their quality of life. And many things can cause that including stress, low hormone levels, um, uh, environmental pollutants and toxins and it's a major problem a big one for women is antidepressants and so you kind of they give you a choice well do you want to be depressed or, or, or have a libido not not a good choice but there are a lot of therapies that can be done to address low libido um, for one we'll talk about is testosterone uh, testosterone is thought of that male hormone but it's not just for men yes it can be given you go from low normal to high normal levels in men all of a sudden their libido is back their sense of well-being their motivation uh, works well for men but also is the hormone of passion for women. So giving a little bit of testosterone can really boost libido. Again, testosterone is not only in men, it's in women as well. Now it doesn't mean you're gonna grow a beard and, and hair growth, but if you have that balance of estrogen to testosterone, you can dramatically improve libido and get that passion back. Other therapies that can be used, one that we talked about in the video blog, is Pitocin. Pitocin is that hormone, that bonding hormone that is, that is elevated when a woman has a baby to bond with that, uh, with that baby. Also goes up with close relationships, you get a spike um, also during sex. So it allows that, that comfort level. And giving a little bit of Pitocin nasal spray allows women to relax and, and boost libido. And studies show, especially for women who are on antidepressants with low libido, it can reverse that. So a nice addition, um, a very, very safe as well. And a little nasal spray uh, when, when you're in the mood and boom, the, the, there you go. Um, other things that can be done are, um, uh, again, with synthetic hormones, you wanna switch from synthetic hormones to bioidentical. Cause synthetic hormones, uh, whether they're birth control pills, will really wipe out your libido for so many women. Um, doesn't affect every woman, but that's a, a significant cause. Other things that can be done is, for instance, we have uh, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra for men for erectile dysfunction. Well, what about for women? You can actually take those medications and they work a little differently. They dilate vessels and you can get some improvement libido in about 25 to 30% of women. So that's another medication that can be useful. There's actually some other medications for severe cases that are used for Parkinson's disease or the increased dopamine that we can get an increased libido. Other even natural therapies, such as the uh, amino acids, L-arginine, can actually, again, dilate the vessels, work much like the Levitra and Viagra, and help a woman with their um, uh, libido, low sexual drive, and also help men with their erectile dysfunction. So there's a lot of therapies that can be done to boost that libido and kind of get that passion back that was lost over the years. It's not something that you have to just accept, but there's things that you can actually do about it.